what we're going to be talking about today is the charging of a capacitor. Now we have a circuit over here in which we have a power supply, a switch, a resistor and a capacitor. Now the first thing that we would like to ask is what happens to the potential difference across the resistor and across the capacitor if we were to close this switch. Okay, so let's just go ahead and close the switch and we were to just draw this circuit like that. Now immediately current is going to start flowing from positive to negative, so there's going to be some current I. As the capacitor is charging up, the charge on this capacitor will increase, meaning that the PD across it will also increase. Now because the PD across the capacitor, let's say that the PD across the capacitor, we're going to call that VC, that goes up. Due to Kirchhoff's second law, well the PD across the resistor has to go down because they all need to add up to the amount of EMF. So we can say that the potential difference across the resistor will be going down. How does the potential difference across the resistor vary with time? Well, initially, the potential difference across the resistor is just V0 as soon as we've closed that switch, and then it will be decreasing exponentially via our familiar formula, which is V0 e to the minus T over CR. Now, we can apply Kirchhoff's second law directly um, here and if we remember correctly Kirchhoff's second law is that the sum of the EMFs is equal to the sum of the potential differences across a circuit. Let's say that our initial voltage we're going to call that let's say V0 so this is just our EMF so V0 is going to equal VR plus VC, where VR is a potential difference across the resistor and VC the one across the capacitor. We already have an expression for, for VR, so we can go ahead and substitute that in. So V0 is going to equal V0 e to the minus T over CR plus the potential difference across the capacitor. Now we can just go ahead and just rearrange for the potential difference across the capacitor. What we're going to get is that the uh, that our VC is going to equal V0 minus V0 e to the minus T over CR. And as our final step, we can actually factorize that. And what we're going to be left with is a formula saying that our potential difference across the capacitor is going to equal v naught 1 minus e to the minus t over cr. Now this is a general formula and it's actually given in your formula sheet if you're doing OCR physics A as x is equal to x naught 1 minus e to the minus t over cr. The reason why this formula is given this way is because it also applies for the charge across a capacitor. Okay folks, so um, just to summarize, we've used Kirchhoff's second law and um, we have expressed this as V0, which is our EMF, our potential difference across our, our source over here, and this is going to equal the two PDs, VR plus VC. The potential difference across the resistor is initially V0, and then it decreases exponentially via V0 e to the minus T over CR and we've just managed to rearrange for the potential difference across the capacitor. I'm just going to circle this formula over here and this is really really important. So this is our formula for the potential difference across a charging capacitor. Okay folks, if there are any questions please feel free to drop a comment down below.